funny. It's never happened to me before. Does anyone remember what we were talking about? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I'm quite blank. I've had one of my spells. <laughs> now, if you just joined us, Richard Pryor was running through his uh, sordid sexual history in an alley somewhere, <laughs> and, and, and everyone walked out of it. Uh, no, uh, I, I had a, a similar experience, but you're my guest, and they'd rather hear you talk. Oh, <laughs> oh tell us about it, Dick. Well, <laughs> you want to sit over here? <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I don't remember it that well because I wrote about it. When you write about something, you forget. I, if there were a copy of my book here, I'd be very happy to read it to you. And, uh, but there isn't, and so I just... Thanks a lot. You believe that? I forgot my stage manager always carries one. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have my reading glasses, and that's true. Uh, no, what it was was that um, it was in a movie theater. And uh, I remember I was watching Hopal and Cassie movie, and I was allowed to go to movies as a kid by myself at a very tender age. And I was watching this movie, and suddenly a voice next to me says, put your hand under here. <laughs> yeah. And the um, guy with the raincoat, naturally, I would hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I'd been told to obey my elders, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I put my hand where he wanted it, apparently, and I remember thinking, it wasn't so much I was scared as the humiliation of it. I thought, what if the lights go up? What do I do? You know? Yeah. You know, it's good that we talked about this, you know? I, I think so, too, because I feel a lot better. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes people look at us like infallible, mm -hmm. like, like we're not human and, and never had a life, never, like there's people like are listening now that have things in their life that they have never talked about. That's right. You know, and it always helps to talk about it I, with someone. Yeah. I don't mean the world, like, you know, but talk about stuff, you know, you'd be surprised. You mm -hmm. take a chance on somebody and say, look, when I, I don't, I'm not proud of this part of my life, but I like to tell you, blah, 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 you know. But there's no doubt that it's therapeutic. And yeah. They say the, all the analyst does is take the place of the friend that some of us in show business may not have that we can confide in. Yeah. You and I do, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you see the inquirer now? Cabot and Pryor confessed to sordid homosexual <laughs> past. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Were you any good in school? By that I mean, were you good in school? Were you fractious? Were you the one, the teacher? I was good until, I think, in my mind, but see, we always remember things, I guess, the way we want to. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I remember I was good until the Catholic school when they kicked me out because my mother uh, had a house of ill repute. Now, you know, I have read that you were born in a brothel, and I figured this is prior putting on an interviewer. No, I was born in my mother's womb. <laughs> well, yes, I... <laughs> and, and we lived in a, I guess you call it a brothel. We called it a whorehouse. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, but it was home to me. It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes. A, a domicile of ill repute, yeah. eh? Yeah. Uh, do you remember wondering if that's where, well, I guess that was the world you knew. Did you th wonder why other kids didn't live among lots of ladies and, <laughs> yeah, and nightgowns? Yeah, I, I, I did. And... That, I had a problem with that, finding out that people lived another way. When I got to grown and we moved, yeah. and I met kids that didn't know about that at all, and didn't talk like I talked, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I, I couldn't understand it. And it took me a while to stop hitting on their mothers. <laughs> you know, stop that, Richard, stop it! <laughs> this is amazing, really, but it's true. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I could have sworn that was just something you probably said, current biography said, and where were you born, Richard? And you probably thought it'd be funny to say, a, 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 what'd you call it, a whorehouse, is yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, we didn't have those in Nebraska. Yes, we did, the Wheeler Rooms in Grand Island, Nebraska, there was a, yeah. Did you have men and women in Nebraska? You had them. Men and women in Nebraska? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had, we, oh, God. We had, but uh, I used to remember um, my father and a friend joking about this place where men went at lunchtime, and 
and came back still hungry because they hadn't had time for their there's lunch. There's no place, there's no. <laughs> you know, say something bad. No, uh -huh. There's no place to teach us about feeling in school. They don't teach us that. You have to learn that out here, don't you? Yeah. When you grow yeah. up. Yeah, you don't get, maybe in some of the more progressive schools now they do. I don't know, I don't know about that. It, would you have ever had that fantasy of going back through school, knowing what you know now and how you could deal with the, did you have a nasty teacher at any point that you'd love to get even today? No, I had good teachers. I was the nasty one. Oh, I was lucky. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have, I think about it now, I mean, as a child, you, you know, yeah, no, I had real good teachers. I was a very fortunate kid. Well, what, is any, any way you can encapsule what the, they always refer to the dark side of Richard Pryor, the rage that is still there, the anger and so on. Mm -hmm. What would it take to get rid of that? Is it specific people you'd like to get revenge on in some way? Is it just... No, I hated it once, and it was about 30 seconds. I didn't like it. You hated... I hated someone once. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the feeling, it did something to me. It scared me. It scared me, that feeling. I really hate it. Wishing someone were dead. Oh, I hate it. It was about 30 seconds of, and I, I said, who is this? What is that feeling? I didn't like that at all. Yeah. So I let go. Yeah. And has, is that rage still there? They say it's a cliche about every comic that the, they're... The demons sleep. <clears throat> you know, and if I, if, I don't, if I don't drink or use dope, then he stays asleep. Mm-hmm. I build him a little house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I say, just leave me alone, please. And yeah. I know an actor with a lot of demons who said, you don't seem to have anything chasing you. An interesting thing about me, but he, he was wrong. Um, I know that probably a certain percentage of people, when they hear you say, I am clean, think, well, of course he'd say that in public. Yeah, but I always said, uh, the, I, was, I, was, I would always say, I did it in public too. I said, mm -hmm. yeah, and I do dope and I like it and, and I, I think it's wonderful. And then why people refuse to accept the other way. They believe that one, but yeah, they don't believe it. Yeah, they don't want to believe that and go, oh, come on, you, you just do a little bit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> do you run into the thing that I'm told reformed drug addicts and alcoholics do run into of supposedly perfectly nice people who will say to you, just a little won't hurt you. Come on, try it. Just loosen up a little. I love the when people say to you after you tell them you're alcoholic, they go, you're no alcoholic. You do drink a little bit to my ear. Come here. <laughs> See, <laughs> I say, no, no, yeah. thank you. Yeah. No. But there um, are people who will do that, aren't there? Yeah. Are they necessarily people who want to bring you to their level, or are they just trying to? No, they don't want to drink alone. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Let's go away for a moment. We'll be right back.